Tons of snow had blanketed Maine during the winter, and ski slope operators were jubilant. It was just the opposite in Europe, however, where snowfall was so sparse that a 43-year-old tradition was shattered, and at the final moment, world ski officials transferred the famed Albert Kandahar races to Sugarloaf. You might wonder where you would park the cars that bring 50,000 people to an event such as this. Well, the folks at Sugarloaf solved the problem. State agencies plowed a nearby airport, and this was pressed into use as a parking lot. Free shuttle bus service was provided to spectators continuously throughout the World Cup. The Downeasters were up for this challenge, though, as they had spent six long months preparing for the World Cup events. The narrow-gauge trail had been groomed to perfection. Hundreds of feet of crowd control rope, communication lines, and snow fences had been arranged for. Main manufacturers donated products for inclusion in specially made sea bags to be given to dignitaries and members of the press. Hundreds of volunteers turned out to assist in the final grooming of the course as the race date drew near. When the competitors arrived, they found it in the ice blue condition that they had been assured it would be. 